Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome to Tarot for Kindness or Tarot Dines, as it says in the upper corner. <laughs> we usually have a different format with two people, so it shows. I don't know. Anyway, um, thank you for joining me. Um, I am Madam Pamita, if you don't know, and every Sunday we have a little tarot fundraiser over here. This is we are fundraising to help seniors in Ukraine um, get groceries. This is like um, really on a very, very grassroots thing that we do. Um, we work with Subotin Harbor, Yulia Subotin, and uh, she and her crew, they get together and they um, buy groceries. $40 buys a week's worth of groceries. There she is. There's Yulia's um, QR code to find, um, find her on Facebook. Um, they go around um, delivering these groceries. $40 worth of groceries buys... $40 buys two weeks worth of groceries for a senior in Ukraine. Many of these seniors, I mean, the stories are unbelievable. I mean, they're, imagine being in a situation where you're being bombed and all kinds of other things are going on. And you also don't have enough to eat and enough money for food because you have a tiny pension and you have to make hard decisions like, um, like, do I get food or do I get heat? Do I get food or do I get medicine? And when they deliver these groceries to these seniors, sometimes the seniors have nothing, zero, nothing, not, not one thing. There was a little story the other week with um, somebody who um, had, she had her pension money in a box and someone came in and stole all of her money and she had no food. And so she was praying for a miracle. And the miracle was you guys. The miracle was the donation you made because then they were able to deliver these, you know, kind grassroots people were able to deliver two weeks worth of groceries. And she said, I, I really, it's unbelievable. My prayer was answered that was just she needed to eat so you guys are the the earth angels that are bringing you know these these wonderful gifts to these seniors who um are struggling just to um survive in a war zone it's unreal so i know there's a lot going on in the world there's a lot going on out there but this is a way we can spread kindness that's why it's called tarot for kindness we can spread some goodness in the world we could be light in the world and be um, really do it with no strings attached. It's not like, you know, you ha they have to do something or, you know, anything to get these, you know, these groceries. This is just um, saving lives uh, one at a time. That's what we can do. So if you would like to get a reading, readings are $10 per card. Um, you can make a donation on Venmo. You can make a donation on PayPal. Um, once you do, or you can make a donation on Super Chat if you are on um if you're on YouTube, you can make the donation down there. Once you do that, um, you need to go into the chat, let us know where you made the donation, how much your donation was, and then um, we will do, a, and then what your question is, and then I'll do a reading for you. We will do a reading, usually there's me and someone else from Parlor of Wonders, but I'm flying solo today. Um, so you can, um, yeah, you can come along and do this with us. We're so excited to be able to do, uh, do readings for you. I see we, it's usually, we, it's usually we, I'm so excited to do readings for you. I've been writing all day. You guys, I've been turning, I turned in my manuscript. <laughs> the love witches, they're trying to figure out my picture smaller or something. So if you see my picture shrink or move or do anything that or they just re-updated this um, format. So we don't know how everything works when they, they did their update. Um, but I'd love to do a reading for you. I want to give an announcement about a couple things going on. Um, number one, we have until the end of the month, we have a limited edition spring magic, spring cleaning magic kit. If you are a coven member, you get an extra 10% off this limited edition spring cleaning magic kit. It has, um, a bunch of cool things all related around van van oil. Van van oil is to like get rid of the negativity and to bring in that beautiful sunshine, good luck, good prosperity, all that good luck energy. And so um, you can get that. And if you're a coven member, you can get an extra 10% off. And if you are like, what are you talking about coven member? Well, you can join the coven and I can't find the link to the join the coven thing. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Join the, thank you, Beth. I saw it just as you put it up. Love, which is the behind the scenes. 
I'm <laughs> pushing all the buttons. Um, if you'd like to join the coven, this is my private inner circle. You can join me, hang out with me. Oh my gosh, we made the coven so delightful and delectable. Everyone that comes in is like, oh my gosh, I love this so much. We have all kinds of special things when you join the coven and we have lots of different levels. You can go in at the basic witch level and basic witch level gets you the restream of the live magic Q&A tea party. You get a couple other little things. You get um, like video, you get to see videos before everyone else. But when you step up from basic witch into good witch, wicked witch, uh, supreme witch, VIP witch, you get a lot more, a lot more. We have um, a an exclusive um, group of um, our witches that come together once a month for a private Q&A on the first Sunday of the month. That's one of the things that you get. Um, you also get at other levels, you get things like um, being part of the uh, tarot salon, which is a once a month tarot card pull that I do for members at the Supreme Witch and the VIP Witch level. Um, we also have um, free classes. Um, you get free classes on demand. You get um, readings at the VIP level. You get a reading with me once a month. I mean, there's all kinds of great things, really, really special things. And you get to take advantage of these. So the coven is a really great value. We made it, honestly, we made it. So whatever you're paying, whatever you're paying, you get way more value and what you get. So it's a great deal. It's not just you about you supporting me. It's about me bringing you into my circle and you get discounts and specials and things like that like our discount on the spring cleaning kit. Coven members get a discount, regular folks, you get, it is discounted a little bit for you, but you get a smaller discount. Um, what else do we have that I wanna tell you about? Oh, our new moon is coming up. We have a new moon spell kit that's going on sale on the 17th. Um, the new moon spell kit is the Money Wishes um, spell kit. It has a green Aladdin lamp. It's a very cool looking um, candle and master candle. And it's great for really doing great money spells. So if you are wanting to do money work, money spell work, this is a great opportunity. That's going to be going on sale on the 17th. So you'll want to take advantage of that. Uh, love the coven says Benny. We love having you in the coven. I love having my inner circle of the coven. It's just more touch points with me, more things that we can do together. I every, you know, Benny, I love that you say that because this is the thing that I hear so often from people that are in the coven is how much they love it, how much they appreciate it, all these extra benefits that they get. It's like, if you really want to have more magic in your life, you want to have, you know, there's just so many things and it's always a good value. Like every level you're getting more than you pay for it. So it's totally worth it. And plus the discount you get as a coven member, it's awesome. So yeah, all of those things are really good. All right. What else do we have? Oh, you can donate through PayPal and you can donate $10 per card. You can donate through Venmo. You can donate on Super Chat. I want to remind everybody that maybe you have a question that you want to ask and you want to get a tarot reading, but you're a little, maybe you're a little shy about doing it publicly in this live stream. You have a question that's maybe a little more personal, or maybe you want to spend a little more time with that. I want to remind everybody that we do readings and spell work. I mean, you can get a reading with me, regular reading with me anytime. Um, <laughs> which is I'm still trying to figure out how to get things out they normally are. That's all right. We're, we're patient, love, which I'm sharing that because I want people to know what's going on if they've already put in a, um, if they've already put in the request. So these full length readings and spell work, we do spell work. I do candle magic for you. If you can, if you want to have some support on your own spell work and want someone else to do the spell work with you, that's one option. Maybe you can't do candles in your home or um, you don't feel confident in doing a candle spell, then you can have one of us at the Parlor of Wonders do a spell for you, myself included, or one of the other very, uh, very experienced spellcasters, B and Buchanan, the Love Witch, and Onoreo, Miss Kelly. We all do spell work there. Um, we also do different kinds of readings. I do um, tarot, tarot readings, past life readings, spirit guide sessions. If you're in the LA area, I do uh, in-person sessions as well on Saturdays. And I do um, healing sessions as well. I do Slavic shaman shamanic um, work and I can do healing sessions, uh, soul retrieval, um, power animal retrieval, all those things as well do Slavic wax healing, pouring egg cleanses, all kinds of things. So I would love um, uh, to do that if you're in the LA area, but you can get, find out about all the services we do by going to this link and you can get a reading or you can um, get some spell work done. 
I want to remind you also that um, there is a, I have a free gift for you guys. Everybody, I'd like to give away free things. That's why I have the coven. We give away lots of things there. Oh my gosh, the coven. You can also vote on candles that we, you have exclusive candles that are only available for the coven. I mean, there's so many good things over there, but um, there is a free thing that you can do. Um, you can get this free illustrated ebook, Seven Secrets to Supercharge Your Spell Work. It's a beautiful 33-page ebook that tells you about the basics of magic. And if you are a magic practitioner, ways that you can kind of dial up the power of your magic. So it is a wonderful book for beginners and also experienced practitioners. Um, it's illustrated, it's absolutely beautiful, and it's absolutely free. You can buy it. It's $20 if you buy it. But um, I give it away for free if you sign up to be a part of the Spell Squad. So you can um, scan that QR code or go to Spell Squad. Uh, yeah, go to SpellSquad.com and you can sign up there or you can scan that QR code and you can get that free ebook. And you will also get the link to join me on Sundays for the Live Magic uh, Q&A Tea Party which I've been doing for many years now. I answer your questions about magic. We get together. That's free. It's fun. So all that good stuff comes from going to spellsquad.com. All right. What else do we have um, <laughs> that I can share with you? Oh, do we still have that? Do we still have the note? I don't think we have that anymore. Um, all right. So do we have any readings so far? Anybody? Love which are you? In the middle, not yet. Okay. All right. So if you want a reading, go ahead and put make a payment. Let's get some of those. Um, yeah, there you go. You can make a payment through Venmo or you can make a payment through PayPal. And then I'll do a reading for you. You can find out what's going on. Anything, any question you want to ask, you can get a one card reading, two card reading, one card reading for ten dollars, two card reading for twenty, three card reading for thirty, four card reading for forty, and so on. All available to you. It's a great way to get a check-in about something. Maybe you just want to know what your week is going to look like. Or maybe you're curious as to um, how to get on a path to something, right? One of the things I'll tell you a little bit about um, tarot readings and the style of tarot readings. Tarot readers, I've been doing tarot readings for um, five decades I've been around the cards. Five decades I've had tarot cards four decades I've been reading cards. It's a long time. It's a long time. Probably longer than most of you have been alive. But um, when we do tarot readings, and I know lots and lots of tarot readers, tarot readers have different styles. They really have different styles. The reason um, we, it's just like anything, it's like chefs or, you know, musicians, everybody's got their own style, right? So my style of reading, I realized long ago, my style of reading is success oriented reading, right? How do you get to the thing that you want? Those are the readings I love to do. And I love to help you with those kinds of readings. Like I want to get a new job. What's the path to get a new job? Or I want to, I want this, I want this certain person in my life. What's the path for this person and I to get together? Or, um, I want to achieve the success of some kind in my life. How do I get there? And the type of reading I love to do is like a roadmap showing you how to get there. It's like Waze or Google Maps, right? It shows you the path to get there. Now, when you live in LA, like I do, and you drive everywhere, you use Waze all the time, right? And you sometimes, back in the beginning days of Waze, when Waze was first out, sometimes I'd be like, yeah, Waze is telling me to go that way, but I know a faster way. Back in the early days of Waze, I could go faster than Waze sometimes, not all the time. Sometimes Waze knew there was a traffic jam on that route that I thought was going to be the faster route and they knew better than me. But sometimes it was about 50-50, right? Nowadays, Waze is always right. <laughs> I'm always like, Madam Waze knows all and tells all. <laughs> so I never go off the, I rarely go off the path unless I don't care if I'm a minute or two later and I want to go my way or whatever. But um that is what I think um, a tarot reading, the type of tarot reading I do is like a ways map, right? I can show you the map. We can show you the way, but you have to take the road and you can take a different road. And if you don't like what you see, you can take a different road, right? But ultimately there's a pathway. Wouldn't you like a map in your life? I sure love having a map in my life where I know, okay, this is my next step and this is what I have to do. And I'm getting this sign and I'm getting this message and I did this reading and I'm seeing this and I'm 
seeing those signposts of how to get to my good outcomes of what it is that I am striving for and achieving and wanting to achieve. So that's what a good reading, in my opinion, a good reading can do for us, right? And that's the kind of reading I do. So it won't be a, a reading that says a destiny, unless there's such a strong stream of, of energy in such a direction that it is feels like a destiny. But we have to remember, we always have free will. We always have free will, right? So if you believe in a reading like you are going to have three children in your life, that's what the reader says, and that is the only option that can happen, then that is not believing that you have free will, right? If you, I, that's not the kind of reading I do. There are people like old school readers out there who will kind of be like that. And I'm like, mm, that's not really for me. I want to, I would rather have something that I can work with, not somebody telling me something that actually doesn't really make sense because I have free will. I can have as many or few children as I want or whatever it is. So um, anyway, there you go. <laughs> um, so yeah, so if you would like to get a reading with me, you can get one, of course, in private. I do private readings as well, but you can get one right now. Um, you can go make a donation on Venmo or PayPal or make a donation on Super Chat. Once you do do that, go into the comment section or the chat. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm watching, I'm watching <laughs> the language's chat with the customer service. I'm like, what are those noises? What's happening? <laughs> what, is this person? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. I can see it's funny. It's cracking me up. <laughs> yeah. Don't say that the, the lady on the screen is, um, <laughs> is a terrible boss or whatever. <laughs> um, anyway, so if you'd like a reading, um, I would love to do one. All you have to do is make a donation, $10 per card. So if you want a 10, a one card reading, you make, <laughs> you make it, um, one ten dollar donation if you'd like two cards 23 cards 30 and so on uh the deck that i'm going to be using is the new deck to me i just pulled it out i have not um, worked with it but i'm going to work with it tonight yeah it's called the muse tarot it's by my friend chris ann it's a gorgeous 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 deck i love it so much it's absolutely beautiful i'll show you some of these cards in fact i'm gonna get the cards ready but look at these beautiful collages that are on these cards. They're so full of rich symbolism, which is what I love in a card is that there's lots of little details that we can uh, lean into. She's also changed the suits of the cards. The air cards are now voices. This is like really made for like creative people. Um, so the voice the voices is the air cards and um pentacles are um, materials like which also these are all about you know creativity right and making it's so so beautiful um so there's materials as the pentacles and let's see and then i'm looking at them this is the emotions are the Emotions are the water cards, the cups cards are emotions. There's two of voices. I just love, oh my gosh, her art is so good. I'm obsessed with this deck already. I feel like it, I just love a deck that has lots of, lots of detail and lots of, lots of symbolism that you can dive into. Oh my gosh, three of emotions, look at beautiful. Ugh. I want to do a reading for you guys with these. All right. We have Batty Bumblebee. Batty Bumblebee. I love, I just was talking about Bumblebee houses. I just applied for a job. Okay. So I'm going to clear these cards out because they're all in order. So I want to get them out of order. So I'm going to take a second to do that, but I'm going to read your question while I do that. So I just applied for a job. I wanted to know my best path. Great question for a better chance at getting the job and you donate on PayPal. Thank you so much, Batty Bumblebee. 
All right. Let me clear these cards out. Oh, they're so beautiful. I'm so into these cards. I got this deck a couple of weeks ago, um, but I didn't really open it because I was working on my book. So I was busy and I didn't really have a chance to look at anything, do anything. I'm mean, just like every minute was spent with that book. Um, let's see. Let's get these cards cleared. Energy fresh for you. So anyway, I'm just kind of obsessed with this deck. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Okay. Alrighty. Almost there. You get a nice fresh deck that's never been used, Batty Bumblebee. That's an, that doesn't happen very often. <laughs> All right. Love this deck. It's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It is really beautiful. I mean, every picture I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. This really is a my kind of deck. All right. Let's give them a shuffle. All right, the path. What is the path? Ooh, muse of inspiration. Oh my gosh. So the muse is, I think, as I'm looking at it, looks like that would be like the king of swords, right? King muse of inspiration would correspond to the king of swords. No, king of wands. Sorry, inspiration is fire, We're not voices. Um. So, all right. So better path at getting the job. Really what I think of when I think of any time I see a king going up, and this would be the muse, would be the king, would be that energy of I am confident. So you applied for the job, and the best path for a better chance at getting the job is to really show your confidence. Be passionate, be energetic, and be optimistic. That's what inspiration, that's what fire energy is all about. So when you go in for your interview, I know, isn't that gorgeous? It's so beautiful. When you go in for your interview, um, make sure that you are expressing that energy of like optimism, positivity, um, being fully like embodied in your skills, that you're confident about your skills, that you know that you have what they need and what they're looking for. Now, as I look at this particular card, it's so beautiful because it has this, let's look at the details of this card. We've got a person walking on a path toward the pyramids, right? They're walking past these two women with fire that are holding fire. And so I feel like you're going to walk through that gate into that job. It really does have this wonderful energy, positive energy for this. But if you can imagine, like if this were in real life, like there were two figures coming out of this, it would be a little daunting, right? To walk through that toward your pyramid, toward your good outcome, right? It would be, there's a little bit of like, Ooh, I'm walking under these two ladies. And so you have to come with that confidence. Like you are getting to the job. You are, the path is open for you to get that job. Right. But you have to sort of overcome any kind of nerves that you have about like the process of getting to that job, which is not, these women don't look mean or dangerous. They look magical, but they're big. It's intimidating. So I think that probably there's some aspect of the interview process or some aspect of this that does feel intimidating to you, but know that you're safe. Show your, show your gorgeous, beautiful creativity, you know, show your optimism and your good attitude. I mean, that really is a big part of fire, which is also that inspiration, right? It's like fire energy is optimistic and positive, brings a really good energy. I mean, remember that when you're coming into work at a place, part of it is your skills, but part of it is also what is your vibe? Like if your vibe is sour, bitter, cranky, nobody's going to hire that. It would be very, you know, unusual for them to hire somebody who has that kind of attitude because who wants that in their workplace? Not very many people I know. So if you, you know, really bring that like really like shine your light. I mean, that really is that energy of like shining your light, being, being a positive person. And 
I think that positivity will really serve you well. Also, no, don't be afraid to toot your own horn and tell them what you have accomplished and what you hope to accomplish with them and how excited you are at the prospect of working with them and so on. But don't get intimidated by the process. It's not, they're not dangerous. They're not out to get you. They're looking at you. I mean, oh my gosh, that could not be more appropriate. <laughs> they're examining you as you walk through that gate but they are not doing it with malice. They're, they're just checking you out. But I think one of the things they're checking out is what, what's your attitude. So yeah, what a beautiful card. Oh my gosh, Chris Ann, you did it again. This is so beautiful. I'm in love with this deck. I love it. Oh, thank you so much, Batty Bumble. Thank you so much. And make sure that you, um, Oh, this, that's definitely something I do need to keep in mind. Confidence is never a default. That really is wonderful advice. I also got some chills while you've been speaking. Yeah. I mean, come with your positivity. That I think you can do easily. If your name is Batty Bumblebee, you probably are a pretty positive person. <laughs> so you've got to come really bringing in that, um, really bringing in that um, energy of like optimism, fun, positivity, you know, good positive energy will help a lot in a, a job interview. You know, if they like you, they kind of sometimes look over some things. Maybe somebody has more skills than you, but if they like you and they think they'd like working with you and they think you'd fit in, sometimes that can be the, the thing to do. You know, just be that positive person that's like a breath of fresh air, right? Love it. Love it. All right. Thank you so much, Batty Bumblebee. Uh, John Paul, is doing a two card reading. Thank you, John Paul. I don't have any of my stuff here Ugh, to write with or anything. Do I? Nope. Oh, well, I'll just remember. We'll just look at the end. Yeah. Okay. Um, my question was yesterday I did, um, a come to me spell with a pink candle and Madame Pammy just come to me. Oh, the flame was super strong and steady throughout the spell. Uh, should I focus on a certain location um, for the person coming to you, the cat coming to you? I want to know more about this. I'm feeling a little like I'm getting, I need to connect the dots here. So are you looking, uh, is the person in the north, south, east, and west? coming from the north, south, east, and west? Is it a person? Is it a Persian cat? What are we looking for, John Paul? <laughs> for the outcome of the come to me spell. Okay, so meaning this is where the person is coming from. And I'm guessing if you're doing a pink one, it's from romance or friendship, but it's for a person that you're doing the spell for. A person, okay. Because I know we were looking for a Persian cat. That's the only reason I brought up. Which would be a great thing to do to bring your Persian cat to you. You do a little come to me. Oh, my gosh. A little a general location. All right. Great. Okay. Let's see what's John Paul's come to me spell. What do we need to know about that? Where should John Paul be looking? Et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, John Paul, John Paul, John Paul. That's all I have to say here. <laughs> First card. First card. It's the Wheel of Fortune. Here it's called the Wheel. Like I'm looking at these cards really close because I don't know them, you know, and I have to like translate them. Um, okay, so Wheel of Fortune in general tarot terms is about taking risks and risks leading to rewards. We have talked about this before to get your, put yourself out there. You got to put yourself out there. Absolutely. That's what the wheel of fortune says. If you want the risk, you got to be willing to cross, jump across the Canyon, right? Like evil Knievel, ride that motorcycle across the Canyon. So it can feel very daunting to do something that when wheel of fortune shows up, it can feel like, <gasps> This is really scary, but what I want is on the other side, right? Of that canyon. What I want is over there. I've got to like get out of my comfort zone to get to the thing that I want. Wheel of Fortune is saying, get out of your comfort zone 
to get to the thing that you want. Take the risk. The risk is going to lead to the reward. So if it feels risky, you're on the right track. If it feels risky in the sense of like, not dangerous, but like, oh, this is really outside of my comfort zone. This is really pushing me. Like, you know, I'd rather stay at home and have to go out and meet someone or I have to go somewhere. So those kinds of, those kinds of risks are good risks. That's a good risk, right? To get out there into the world, to get into the mix of things. Now, what's interesting on this wheel is that there are people that look to be like they're dancing, like they're kind of like almost dancing or doing acrobatics, right? This really beautiful energy and the cycles of the moon. Oh, good. As soon as I feel better from my surgery, I'll be going on tour. Excellent. Excellent. Getting out more. Perfect. That is super supported. Do you know what the next card is? The lover's card. The lover's card. That's why I was losing my mind. If you put yourself out there, this deep, beautiful partnership, this beautiful love is going to come to you. Look at this card. Oh my gosh, this card is gorgeous. It's showing the people being blessed by these beautiful flowers and angel wings and lotuses. And this is such a beautiful card of like partnership, having like a true partnership, right? But it's like this spiritual blessed energy. I almost would say to you two things that are very practical about this. Do you like to go out dancing? You should go out dancing, have some fun, do something that like feels like you're moving your body or doing that. That's what Wheel of Fortune is telling me. This one is also telling me maybe going to like a meditation class or a spiritual center or doing something like meditation or prayer or even going to church could be a really great place too. Both of these are so gorgeous. It's like the spiritual and playful the spiritual and the deep and meaningful and the playful fun. So those are two indications. Now I did not get a direction because I didn't get a suit. So I'm going to pull over the first suit card to get that direction for you. Uh, not yet. To the West. Three of cups is to the West. And it's also a card of like play and parties and fun and socializing. So that's telling you what to do. Go to the West. All right. Thank you so much, John Paul. That was so fun. These cards, I'm like, ah, I'm so into them. They're gorgeous. All right. Um, let's see. Okay. Anybody else want a reading? Ten dollars per card. Um, then uh poor love witch is trying to figure out <laughs> trying to figure out how to work um the new updated restream that we do this on. Um, $10 per card. You can pay on Venmo or you can um, pay on uh, PayPal or you can pay on Super Chat. Super Chat is down below. If you're on YouTube, PayPal and Venmo, of course, there's Venmo right here. Um, but you can also pay on PayPal as well. Let me see if I can find the PayPal thing. Oh, I don't know where it is. Nope. I don't want to leave. Oh, Benny, I use PayPal. And how many, what did you donate, Benny? I need to know uh, how my sister Jenny Summer looks. Wonderful. Yeah, Benny, I just need to know how many, how much you paid. Thank you, Benny. All right. So for Benny's sister, Jenny. That's cute that you're Benny and Jenny. Was that planned? <laughs> it's very cute. All right. How will Jenny Summer go? Ah, Queen of Materials. Queen of Materials. Queen of Materials is Queen of Pentacles in the traditional tarot. Um, this energy, oh my gosh, she's just like, living her best life. She knows her worth. That is such a beautiful energy right there. Don't you think like looking at that woman, like she knows her worth, she knows her beauty. She knows, um, 
you know, everything, everything about who she is and confident in who she is. Now, materials and pentacles represent money and work. So I don't know if there's an opportunity for her to get a job, if that is in or start a business of some kind. But this is definitely, um, you know, something that can be open to her to really have like a good income coming in. You know, pentacles also can mean and materials can also mean the physical body. So if there's any health issues, it means like no health issues over the summer, like strong health. Um, this is like, good income, strong health, confidence, knowing her self-worth, generosity. So I think this is going to be a summer for Jenny that's going to be one that she really gets her confidence. Like I feel like that energy coming through so strong with this card. Like if she hasn't been feeling very self-confident or she's been through some tough times, this summer is going to be all about building her confidence and getting to that place where she knows she's a queen, right? That that feeling of knowing I'm a queen. So it's a really beautiful card. Love that for her. So beautiful. So yeah, it's like getting down to business too. She's not, um, this isn't like, not that she isn't playful, but it is like, you know, making strides and taking steps and moving forward. It's very kind of Capricorn energy, right? So as you lean, you know, into the, as she leans into the summer, you know, it's like taking care of business and making her life feel per successful and progress and moving forward. So love that. You're so welcome, Benny. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's a lovely card to get. I love queen of pentacles, queen of materials. That's beautiful. But I love that image too. Oh my gosh. I'm just getting so much from these cards. Um, Mel, I see you have a 10 card reading. We're going to be with you for a while. Wonderful. Thank you so much. That is wonderful. Um, what are you wanting to know, Mel? Oh, Mel's question is going to come in. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. We'll get Mel's question. That's like a, a 10 card reading is really a, a Celtic cross reading. So happy to do that. Mel, I think your, your donation is really the biggest single donation maybe that we've ever gotten. Thank you. That is so awesome. So, all right. So Mel says Monday night meeting canceled, please. Two, the cleaner will not come back, please. Three, is this a week, good week to call Bobby and four, will Bill be gone longer than a week? I guess longer than a week. Um, so you have four questions or 10 questions. I don't know if there's more questions coming in, but if there are more questions, you can go ahead and pop those in, but I'm going to wait and just to see if those are it or if there's more. Oh, okay. So there's going to be 10 questions. All right. Okay. So I'm going to pull the, let's wait till all 10 questions get out there. And then I'm going to pull the cards. For those of you who are wondering what deck I'm using, if you just popped in, I'm using the Muse Tarot by Chris Ann. Um, I got this deck a couple of weeks ago. I think it's been out a little while, maybe, I don't know, a couple year, maybe, maybe less. Um, but it is so gorgeous. I'm obsessed with this deck now. I just opened it for this and I love it. It's amazing. Chris Ann is an amazing human. Oh, just six questions. Okay. So if I could see those, those questions and I'll pull, I'll pull like for your week ahead, the rest of the cards for that week for you what's ahead. All right. Thank you so much, Mel. Um, all right. So let's see about this. So, okay.
It's a lot of space. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. <clears throat> you asked about the question, is the Monday night meeting going to be canceled? And the answer is yes. Ace of emotions. Whenever we see an ace and we ask a yes, no question, the ace is always representing yes. You ask, is the meeting going to be canceled? The ace of ace of cups or ace of emotions is saying yes. Uh, I think, you know, honestly, it's like they don't feel like having a meeting is what I see. <laughs> yeah, they just don't feel it. They're not feeling it. So they don't have a meeting on Monday. Yeah, that would answer that question there. All right. Second question. The cleaner will not come back. The cleaner will not come back. Oh, the fool. Interesting. The cleaner will not come back, please. Uh, the fool card is like open-ended energy. I think it's going to be surprising. Like that, whoever that cleaner is and why ever you don't want them to come back, it's going to be some other cleaner. There's going to be some change is what I'm getting with this. A new person coming in to clean a new, it feels very up in the air energy around the cleaner. So it feels like somebody new comes in or somebody, a, a new cleaner or new person, but not the old one. Yeah. It, full energy is brand new energy. It's also kind of like undefined energy. It can be that way. It's like all potential. So it feels like there's a second, um, yeah, like a somebody else, or it's just a new person or something brand new comes in. Um, gosh, that card is gorgeous too, huh? These cards are really beautiful. I'm so into them. Okay. Three, is this a good week to call Bobby? You've got the muse of materials. All right. Muse of Materials is practical, very, very practical. Again, look at, there's a pathway. I love these cards. Oh my gosh. Pathway is a bridge going to a new land there in the distance. Um, I feel like that, that energy is there is a bridge to call Bobby, but Materials is telling you, you have to have a practical reason for calling. It cannot be a call that's like, hey, what's up this week or next? So you're asking about this week. So if you're going to call this week, you have to call for a material reason, meaning uh, there's a real reason that you're calling Bobby. You know, hey, um, I needed you to know this certain thing or, um, you know, I need to get, um, I need to, uh, I don't know, I need to get you your, you left your jacket here. <laughs> I think something super practical. It cannot be just a call in to say, Hey, what's up? Right. So it's gotta be something practical, but I love this aspect of the bridge, right? The bridge energy, like that bridge energy feels like a reconnection or a communication, but it has to, there, there has to be a reason for it. It cannot just be a check-in. There has to be a reason, it has to be practical. Even if it's something like you want to arrange something or you want to just, I wouldn't even say discuss anything that would be more like the air energy. It's more like there's a practical thing that needs to get taken care of. Maybe you can invent a practical reason to give the phone call, but there has to be a real reason for that phone call. It cannot be, it cannot be just check-in, right? So the bridge is good. The bridge saying there's an opening. It's a bridge leading to it. I think there's an opportunity to call. But if you call this week, it's got to be a practical reason. Next week, we can ask on Sunday and see where we are for that one. But if you don't, if you do it this week, you need a reason to be calling, right? A reason. Hey, I wanted to tell you, I wanted to tell you that, um, you know, so-and-so's going to have a concert and I've got two tickets. That's a practical reason, right? There's a practical thing going on there. So there has to be a reason for the phone call. That's how, that's what you need to know. All right. Um, will Bill be gone longer than a week? I'm guess well, longer than a week. Huh? This is three of voices, which is three of swords. Con so this, you know, we see the tears in the background. <sighs> I think Bill is going through some stuff. This is some real heartbreak, some real sadness, some real emotion, some real sad emotions. So whatever he's doing, whatever he's going through, and it, will he be gone longer than a week is predicated on this fact that he's not 
he's unhappy. I get the sense that he won't be back this week. He'll be long gone longer than week because he's dealing with some real deep emotional stuff, some sadness, some heartbreak, um, some grief. Um, so he may be gone longer than a week because he's, he's kind of, I mean, if you look at this figure here, they're kind of curled up in a ball, which really expresses that energy. I don't see him coming back in any time in the next couple of days. That's for sure. All right. You know, question five and six, what is the best day to organize? That's seven of swords. The best day to organize is Sunday. You know why I say that? Because if we count the days starting tomorrow, we go back to Sunday. And swords means days. So if I look at as a count, if I do, there's a, there's a timing way you can do timing. So in seven days, in seven days, we're back at next Sunday. So the best day to organize or whatever it is that you're doing is on a Sunday. That seven of swords energy. Boy, look at these cards. Oh my gosh. Look at that energy of that fox. I just want to lose myself in these <laughs> images. I want to go there, right? Um, so fox energy is crafty energy, right? Like I would approach the organization um, with some real like get smart about it like be be strategic about the organization that's fox energy is being strategic figuring out pro solutions solving problems right when the stop when a fox in a fairy tale is in a sticky position they they get smart and they figure out the solution so i see this fox being like a kind of a animal guide to you who can help you with the organization as well. Quick, fast, efficient, super smart about it, can figure it out on the fly. But next Sunday is the best day. Yeah. Next Sunday. Look at that. I just, oh my gosh. I'm obsessed, man. These cards are so good. <laughs> um, Nuclear would be now, I mean, like this week would be a new cleaner, new cleaner, new person showing up. Yeah, it's happening now. All right, so now let's look at the rest of your week and what's going on for you. That's what we're going to do with the rest of these cards. Okay, so first card for you, just in general reading, week ahead, all of that stuff, is Eight of Swords, Eight of Inspiration. So Eight of Inspiration... Look at that. It's moving forward. I love this card and, and how it relates to the Eight of Swords in the traditional tarot. Because Eight of Swords energy, people look at that card. It's a card with like a woman. She's tied up. There's swords all around her. She's like there. But she's really not as trapped as she thinks she is. So it's always a card to remind us we're not as trapped as we think we are, right? And look at the, here, you're not, as, you're not trapped. So even though you have those lines and those arrows and those, that energy pointing you in a direction you can go, you are not trapped. So I would say to you, the first thing, Mel, is to remember that whatever situation where you feel trapped, there is a way to move. There is a way to get out of it. There is a way that you can move through it. So whenever you are looking at a life situation where you're like, oh my God, I'm stuck here. You're not stuck. You have to think about, you have to get creative and get into your mind and get lost, rational and logical, but there are ways out of it. And don't be stuck by limitation. That's one thing people do. Everybody, it's human nature, myself included. We sit there and we go, oh, only this is possible for me. Why do we put those artificial limitations on ourselves? Why do we do that? Anything is possible. Why do we say, oh, well, everybody else can do that, but I can't. Or I can't get out of the situation. It's a very passive energy. It's human nature. Everybody does it. No shame. We all do it. But that's what the Eight of Swords, Eight of Inspiration is all about, is to tell us, no, we're not trapped. We are not trapped. So whatever situation where you feel trapped, you're not trapped. And now your work is to find your way out of it. Just 
you know, open up your consciousness to find a way out and you can, there is no entrapment. You are not trapped. Second card for you, nine of cups. Oh, I love nine of cups. It's like everything you get everything you want, right? It's a wish card. Nine of cups is a card of like any, you have everything that you need. Your life is very, there's things in your life that are very satisfying. Um, you have great gifts to give others and emotionally you're, you have the potential for emotional fulfillment. Like let's get into a state of gratitude about the things in our life that there are so many things in our lives that we can appreciate. And let's get into a state of gratitude. This is really the solution for not just you, but for everyone right now. So much, so much out there is so harsh right now and um, doesn't feel good out there in the world. However, we have so much to appreciate. Look at, she's in a meditative pose. It's reflective pose, right? It's being in that inward reflection and looking within and getting into a state of gratitude. There's so much in your life to appreciate and to get into that state of gratitude, do your gratitude work, work on a gratitude journal, remind yourself to find things to be grateful for every day, count your blessings, whatever practice works for you, but go inward and find those things that are working for you, not focus on the things that aren't working to get out of your, <laughs> to get out of your situation that is necessary to wherever you feel stuck, get into a place of gratitude and you can do it. Next is nine of inspiration, which is nine of wands. So nine of wands is very different here. Although there's some similarities than the traditional tarot. I mean, there's those walls around her. So one of the things that I see in nine of wands is like the guy has these nine staffs around him. He's safe, right? He's protected. So this is a card of protection. It's also a card of saying, you know, where is your confidence in that protection? Here we see a beautiful woman who absolutely looks confident. She's got that fire energy around her as well. So it's about building your confidence this week as well. It's about getting in touch with your own sense of I have everything that I need to succeed and I have to believe that, right? That also goes along with this eight of swords, eight of inspiration to get into your place of fire, passion, confidence, owning, owning who you are, right? Being proud of who you are. Um, I kind of love these unicorn women in the background too, that like higher consciousness, that little string of lights between them. Like, I feel like there's a, with a unicorn, there's this energy of like connecting up to higher consciousness. That's where it's going to come from. When you really do your spiritual work, then you do love yourself, right? And then when you love yourself, you feel confident in yourself. It's really good. It's a really good card. All right. Next, we've got our muse of inspiration again. Oh, give the rest to others. I'm doing, I got the cards here. Um, <laughs> Muse of, I'll just go through these quickly. Muse of inspiration is walking toward your goal, right? Walking toward that goal. Just like we had Muse of materials, right? The connection of those bridges. But this is like taking that action, that motivation, that fire energy in you and going for your goals. You're going to have people inspecting you, looking at you, but who cares? They're not hurting you. They're there. Maybe they're even protective. They've got these like fiery angel wings. Maybe they're watching out for you. You know, that can be another interpretation of those two women making the bridge. But like, I think it's like motivation really. That's, you know, the other thing I see. Then we have nine of voices. Like healing, healing the sadness, healing the broken heart. I think that's part of the work too, you know, healing that energy and doing that work, right? Oh, it's dream time. Look at the little dreamy lady in the corner. Do some dream work, right? That's the way to do it. Do some dream work. Oh, love that so much. What amazing reading. What an amazing reading for you. Very deep cards. These cards really go deep. I love it amazing, right? 
Thank you so much, Mel. I appreciate that so much. I, I appreciate you and love doing readings for you. And hopefully that was helpful to you. Some really cool, deep stuff. If you would like to get a reading, we'll be here for a little while longer. Um, if you'd like to get a reading, you can make a donation. Um, we'll stay up. We'll hang out for another five minutes and see if anyone else donates. Um, want to remind everybody that we're here every Sunday. This is Tarot for Kindness. Um, we do a live magic Q and a tea party on, uh, zoom. And if you'd like to be a part of that, all you have to do is sign up at spellsquad.com or, um, can I make this close? Uh, or you can sign up here. Oops. Come on. I think we're both pressing buttons at the same time. Um, you can sign up here and you can join me for the live magic Q&A tea party. Um, if you would like a reading, we have Venmo and PayPal and Super Chat if you're in on YouTube and you can uh, join me here and get a reading every Sunday right after our Q&A. Um, we do this every week so that we can do readings for you and all 100% of your donations go to feed seniors in Ukraine. Here is our friend Yulia, who is um, running the show now. Um, and Yvonne is doing service. Now he's in the service, so he's doing that. And Yulia's um, buying the groceries and delivering those groceries. Um, you can make donations directly to her too. I've had people ask me about that. You can definitely do that. But if you'd like a reading, we're happy to do a reading for you. Um, you can add her on Facebook. She's also on uh Instagram. We should get that Instagram link next week for next week. Uh, Love Witch, if we can, so that people can see the seniors that they're helping. It's a wonderful cause. 100% of your donations go there. Even the part that, um, that, uh, the, you know, paying services take out, we, we donate that back in so that 100% goes to feed these seniors. You can see the seniors that you're helping. We'll send this money right after we're here, done here. And then, um, then this will be the morning in a few hours. It'll be the morning in Ukraine. They'll buy the groceries and they'll deliver them today. So your money is going to save somebody's life, feed somebody that's starving today. No overhead, no, you know, this and that. This is going directly to them. So thank you so much, you guys. I'm exhausted because I've been working all week. Um, as you can see, I've got like circles under my eyes. <laughs> What's that about? Um, because I've been working on my book. I've got a new book coming out and I turned in that manuscript is due tomorrow. I turned it in today. I always love it when I can get it in the day before. And then, uh, my editor gets it, um, beforehand. It's a really gorgeous book. I can't wait till we get the cover and I can announce to you what it is. Um, but I am beat. I am tired. I want to thank you guys for joining me. Um, if there are no more, um, donations, we'll just wrap it up right now. Um, let's see, we raised $140. That is awesome. Uh, thank you so much to Mel, to Benny, to John Paul, to Betty Bumblebee. I want to thank you guys so much. Mel, your generation, your generation, your donation was so generous. God, I can't even talk right now. Um, the deck that we use today is the Muse Tarot. Go check it out. Chris Ann is an amazing human being. She is um, totally an amazing human being and an amazing artist. And this deck is like blowing my mind at how good it is. All right, you guys have a great week, everyone. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week at the same time. And we'll have another set of readings. I'm so grateful to all of you for donating. We'll see you next week. Thanks again. I'm going to get some rest now. I get to go to bed early tonight and sleep in. Yay. Yay. <laughs> I got to go to work tomorrow anyway. But all right. Have a great week, everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you, Love Witch, for doing all the behind the scenes stuff. Bye, everybody.